All right, all my little young hackers and activists, let's get right into the photography series of badges. Okay, so as you know, with every badge, we have four levels of badges and I wanna kinda of go over them so you understand what you're getting into and of course, how they connect to your activism as a young student. Okay, so first off, you know that as a hacker, I'm a hacker, you're a hacker, we hack education. I've got all these books on photography, stacks of them, and I take down and I distill it down into just some essentials. Now, just like any of these other subjects, you can go as far as you want with this. You can, you can turn photography into a career and being, you know, being a photographer for the rest of your life, traveling the world, doing things, whatever you wanna do. It can go that deep, just like all the other badges. But if you just wanna get a taste of it, this is the badge for you. Okay, now the levels, level one, all about the basics. It just gets in there, shows you how to use the iPad as a camera. You need to know these before you can do any of the other ones. If you, of course, you know all this stuff, then you can jump into the other levels. But most people don't know the fine little things you need to know about using your iPad as a camera. All right, level two is all about object photography and how to uh, compose a shot and how to take a nice, you know, you go on a scavenger hunt, you do some really cool stuff there. Uh, level three is all about people photography and how you can take great photos of people. And then levels four, uh, level four is all about how to make amazing. It's all the advanced techniques. And then we talk about how to use your photography skills now as fundraising for um, whatever activism projects you wanna take on. Now, the other levels do connect to um, activism. And I wanted to kind of just touch on that before you get started in all this, because I get students that email me and they're like, hey, I don't get this. Why is this connected? Well, let me tell you why. S you just cannot be an advocate for good in this world without being able to visually represent what you're talking about, okay? You can, you can have a cure for cancer, but if you can't explain it to people and you can't get people to listen to you, then it's not gonna go anywhere, okay? And visualization and having visual imagery is one of those things. This is tied in right into videography and those other animation. All of them are really important with getting people to listen to your ideas, okay? So I wrote down in my notes here a few things how these connect and how I've seen them connect with students in the past. Um, so for photography, imagine being able to document something like the diversity of your school. You can talk about it, but when you show it in a picture or, or lack of diversity for that matter, photography can really show that. Um, uh, issues about gender equality, you can show that through your imagery. Um, issues on poverty in your community. You know, having people see it can change their minds. I mean, we can all be locked into something, but when you can see it happening and you see it around you, that's when people's uh, minds get changed about things. Uh, simple things like water deficits, you know, like people who are going without water. Uh, waste management, what's happening to all the trash and rubbish and everything that's around us. And uh, even things like conflict revolution, re sorry, conflict revolution, conflict resolution, conflict resolution can be shown through imagery as well. And that's why photography is so important for not only a hacker to hack it and to get figured out and to know how to do it quickly, but to be a young activist, you need to have powerful images behind the message that you're trying to do or the awareness that you're trying to bring, the funds that you're trying to do. And that's why photography is so important and that you learn it, okay? So have a lot of fun, get right into level one and uh, zip through those levels and I can't wait to see your final product and to see how much money you can raise uh, through your level four badge uh, for a good cause. All right, have a lot of fun with it.